In this video, I'm going to walk you through a full training on how to do eBay product research and find products that will grow your business. This is a step-by-step strategy-focused video designed to help you apply proven methods for finding winning niches, hot products, and even competitors you can learn from or outsmart using this tool. Here's what we're going to cover in this video. How to analyze niche demand and understand competition levels. Smart strategies to uncover high potential products. Methods to validate product ideas using real data. Techniques to identify and track competitors for inspiration and advantage. By mastering these insights and features, you'll be able to make data-driven decisions that give your eBay business a serious edge. So without further ado, let's dive right in. First, let's navigate to the product research tool. To access it, click on the magnifying glass icon located on the left-hand side menu of the Zeek Analytics dashboard. Once you're inside the product research tool, it's very important to set your preferences before running any searches. This ensures that the results you get are tailored specifically to your business model and sourcing strategy. Here's what you can configure eBay Marketplace, select the marketplace you're selling on. So for example, eBay.com for the US. Shipping location, choose the country your products are shipping from. If you're sourcing from AliExpress or other Chinese suppliers, make sure to set this to China. And if you are sourcing products using local suppliers like Amazon.com or Walmart.com, then you will need to set the shipping location to United States. Sales date range. This controls the time frame for which you'll see sales data. Price range. Filter products by minimum and maximum selling price. Seller feedback score. Target sellers with certain reputation levels. Exclude phrase. This is really useful. For example, if you're searching for phone cover, but don't want results for Apple products, you can exclude the word iPhone to get non-Apple listings. Listing type and condition. Filter results based on whether listings are auction or buy it now, new or used items, and more. Now I'm going to demonstrate the most basic way to use the product research tool. And after that, we'll move into something more advanced strategies. The simplest way to start is by searching for a niche idea based on your personal experience. It can be a niche you've previously had success with in your eBay store or simply one you feel has potential. The benefit of using this method is that we stop relying on our gut feeling and start making data-driven decisions. For this example, I'll search for the niche neck pillow, which is a product I have in mind. Once I run the search, you'll see a data overview of this niche. What Zeek Analytics does here is gather the top performing listings in that niche over the past 30 days. So before diving deeper, let's quickly break down what each stat on this page means. So you have the sell-through rate. This tells you how quickly items are selling. For example, a 500% sell-through rate means each listing averages five sales. The higher the number, the better. Personally, I look for niches with at least 500% sell-through. Listings. This is the number of eBay listings Zik found and analyzed in this niche. Sold items. The total number of items sold across all listings in the selected time frame. Sales earnings. The total revenue generated by these sold items. Then you have successful listings. Now this shows how many listings made at least one sale. If this number is over 20%, it's genuinely considered a good niche. Then we move on to average price, the average selling price for items in the niche. Then we have a market share, a pie chart showing how sales are distributed among sellers. Ideally, you don't want one seller controlling over 50% of the market. Healthy niches are more balanced. Sales trend. This graph helps you understand if the niche is trending up, experiencing peaks, 
or staying consistent. To summarize, a good niche should meet the following conditions. Sell-through rate of at least 500%, 20% or more successful listings, a balanced market share, no single seller dominating over 50% of the market share. And now that we know how to understand a niche market and we found a niche that meets the criteria of a winning opportunity, the next step is to analyze the top performing products to understand what makes them desirable. This means looking into specific attributes such as quantity, sizes, special features, colors, and so on. You'll need to pinpoint the common traits shared by the best-selling products and then source a product that matches those specifics. For example, after analyzing the top results in the neck pillow niche, I can tell that the white color performs well. Squared shaped designs are common. Memory foam material is a key selling point. Also, I noticed that the average selling price in this niche is $20.76. So we'll aim to find a product that matches both the key features and falls within a price range that allows for a good profit margin if I sell it around $20.76. At this stage, there's no more guessing. We're making decisions based on real sales data. If you're an inventory-based seller, reach out to your supplier and check if they have a product that matches this set of criteria. If you're a dropshipper, you can now search your preferred supplier's catalog to find matching items. For this example, I'm using Amazon as my supplier. So I'll head over to Amazon and search using the main keywords that describe our ideal product. White square memory foam neck pillow. After some searching on Amazon, I found this product. It matches all of the criteria. White color, square shape, memory foam, and it's priced at $12.99 with free shipping for Prime members. If I sell this on eBay for $20.99, which is in the range of the average product selling price in the niche, I can expect a profit of about $5 per sale after eBay fees and be relevant in the niche. Now, here's a pro tip. If you're a dropshipper, the product research tool has a filter to show only listings from sellers identified as dropshippers by Zeek Analytics. Just activate the dropshipping only toggle before searching and your results will be instantly refined for dropshipping use cases. Now, if you don't have prior knowledge of specific niches or you're just looking to explore fresh high demand opportunities on eBay, Here's a simple and powerful way to get started. Zeek Analytics can provide top performing niches with real time market data, helping you identify what products are selling well right now. To get the most relevant niche suggestions from Zeek Analytics, it's essential to configure your market insight seller settings. This step ensures that this niche you see are accurately aligned with your business model. So the data you receive truly supports your selling strategy. Now to do this, simply head to the Market Insights dashboard and click on Seller Settings. Set your preferences based on your business model. In my case, I'll choose Marketplace, eBay.com, Business Model Dropshipping, Source Site, Amazon.com. As you can see, there are also options for other models like arbitrage, wholesale, and more. So choose what fits you best. Now that we've set everything up, there are two key sections inside the Market Insights dashboard where you can find niche ideas. One is trending eBay niches. Now this section shows you a list of top performing niches on eBay from the last 30 days. If you see a flame icon next to the niche, that means that's currently trending and it's a great idea to explore these first for maximum potential. Once you choose a niche, Zeek Analytics will automatically direct you to niche analysis using the product research tool. From here, you can gain deeper insights into the niche such as demand, competition, and pricing, and discover which products are selling well. This allows you to confidently add similar or improved versions of those top performing products to your own eBay store. 
Then we have the e-commerce calendar. This is a goldmine for seasonal sellers or anyone looking to capitalize on high traffic shopping periods. The e-commerce calendar highlights upcoming holidays and events, along with the related hot niches expected to perform well during those times. It's perfect for planning ahead and writing seasonal trends to boost your sales. When you click on any event icon, you'll see a list of related niches, each one with strong potential to perform well during that specific occasion. You can use this information to strategically add products to your store that match the seasonal demand. And also here, once you click on the top niche related to the holiday you selected, you'll be directed to the product research tool where you'll be able to analyze the niche in depth and identify which products are top performing within it. Pro tip, when preparing your store with products related to specific holidays, make sure to list them early. This helps target early planners and gives international suppliers like AliExpress enough time to deliver the product before the event. It also allows eBay's algorithm time to properly index your listings. Personally, I recommend listing holiday related products between a month and a half to three weeks in advance for the best results. Another powerful way to use the product research tool is to validate specific product ideas, not niches, but individual products. Let me walk you through the process step by step. Step one, start with a product idea. The first step is to know what kind of product you're interested in selling. For this example, let's analyze this product from Amazon. Of course, this could also be a product from any other supplier like AliExpress or Walmart. The goal is to evaluate whether this specific product is worth selling on eBay, eliminating the guesswork from your dropshipping process. Once you've chosen a product, open the product research tool. Make sure to adjust the settings to match the product source and target marketplace. If it's a product from Amazon, set the shipping location to the United States and ensure your eBay marketplace matches the region you're selling. If it's a product from AliExpress, change the shipping location to China. Next, copy part of the product's title, Gravity Electric Pepper and Salt Grinder, and paste it in the search bar in the product research tool. Then click search, analyze the results. The product research tool will display data from the past 30 days for other products on eBay that match the title you searched. Now let's break down what we see. The sell-through rate might be lower than what you'd aim for with a niche search, but that's fine since we're focusing on a specific product idea. The successful listings percentage is 20% which means 20% of sellers that been analyzed successfully sold this product in the last 30 days, a promising indicator for this product. And four sellers have sold this type of product three times or more in the past month, which is a great sign. For specific products, I look for multiple sellers achieving at least four sales in 30 days. Decide on the next steps based on data. I can confidently say that the Gravity Electric Pepper and Salt Grinder set is a product worth selling on eBay. Here's what I'll do next. Focus on sourcing the same product or a similar upgraded version from your supplier and aim to match the average selling price you found on eBay. Optimize your listing when adding the product to your eBay store focus on creating an optimized listing include better images to stand out highlight the products features in the title and item specifics base your title on the most successful competitors title and adjust it to suit your product ensuring it appears in the same search results for improved results you can list a similar product with enhanced features. When sourcing these similar products, look for ways to offer something better, such as different colors, brands, or sizes, upgraded features or accessories, bundles with different quantities. By providing a supplier product or a better offer, you increase your chances of attracting buyers and standing out in a competitive market. Example upgraded product. For example, let's look at this 
product. This product is similar to the one we checked before, but includes a free cleaning brush, which adds value for buyers and costs only $10.99. By selling it at the average product price of $23.66, I can get around $9.30 after eBay fees. If you're selling the exact same product, focus on making your listing better by using different images to attract attention, adding more detailed item specifics, writing a more optimized title and product description, finding top competitors from your industry. Before we wrap up, let's talk about another powerful use of the product research tool, finding top competitors. When analyzing specific products or niches, you can identify sellers offering those items and use this data to your advantage. For dropshippers, for example, if you search for Amazon products, many of the sellers you'll find are likely Amazon dropshippers. For inventory sellers, if you focus on a specific niche, you can uncover sellers in your niche who are direct competitors. Why this matters? Well, finding these sellers can be a shortcut to discovering profitable products, new niche ideas, and strategies to improve your own business. Simply identify a seller who fits your business model, then click the spy icon to get a full analysis. You'll gain insights into their techniques and even view their best-selling products. Use this information to refine your strategy and stay ahead in the market. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned how to optimize and maximize your work with the product research tool. See you in the next training video.